Let's look at the highlights for round six of PlayStation 4 NPL Victoria. Oh, with a long shot! Oh my word, Sammy Noor! This game needed a spark, and has he provided it? He's got space to move here. Use of shooting from distance, and he gets the woodwork. Santil on the right, swinging a ball to the post. Cosano tried to flick it on. Oh. Oakley appeared to be continuing their good recent run when Dimi Hatsumaratis opened the scoring away to Avondale. But Avondale would hit back with a stunning first club goal for Yite Towns. And Avondale had the chance to take the lead in the second half, but Alexi Krapko's penalty was saved by John Honos. Bentley Greens peppered the Melbourne victory goal, Troy Ruthven agonisingly close to the opener, and it was the left post again for this Ruthven free kick. Bentley's opener came from Jack Webster, nodding in Luke Pilkington's cross. And it was 2-0 before half-time when Chris Lucas caught the victory defence flat-footed. Ryan Pachkowski would score late to give the Greens a 3-0 win. Port Melbourne recorded an impressive 2-0 win away to Green Gully. Jamie Deabreu cutting back for Alec Goodwin to net the opener. And it was 2-0 shortly after half-time when Rani Dash's clearance set up perfectly for this Goodwin volley. However, from a second successive corner, Heidelberg centre-back Stephen Pace not in the opener unchallenged. Sean Ellis took full advantage with an unstoppable free kick to put his side 2 0 up within 10 minutes. Willis's men got off to a far better start in the second half and found a way back into it when Cunningham was bundled into inside the box. Jonathan Boone has converted his second penalty of the season to give the home side hope. There was barely any time to settle before some desperate defending led to a Heidelberg penalty, which Ruben Way won and then dispatched emphatically. Hopes were dashed following a second sending off at the end of a swift Heidelberg counter attack. Gavalis seemed to do a little wrong but was given his marching orders with Jordan Wilkes having to take over in goal. As City had made all three substitutions. The defender was beaten by Wade's second successful penalty but then made a fabulous save with my substitute Costa Kanakaris. There was little Wills could do to prevent a fifth from Lewis Hall. And a sixth from Kanakaris as Heidelberg ran out comfortable winners. This is well against the former club. And Cofano with the free towards the top of the box. And the header. Oh, it's, it's gone, gone, in. gone in. A goal for South Melbourne. And Amala. Dressing down the right, wants the ball into the box. Oh, big Tryon chance now. Plays one in for Miller. Miller has the shot. Great finish. South Melbourne lead 2-0. Free kick taken by Hegarty towards the front. Big chance in. And Hume City peg one back. Now to PlayStation 4 NPL 2. A crossover round where the East's Brunswick City made a flying start through Jason Principato against the West's Melbourne City. Brunswick City doubled their advantage with this one to strike from Ali Turgut, a potential goal of the season contender. And it was 3-0 with seven minutes to go when a shanked defensive clearance fell kindly to Dimi Vithulkas. So that's our first goal of the afternoon. Congratulations to the Faulkner Soccer Club getting a start on FFB Radio. Here's a shot coming in and the first goal for Murray United. Ashley Dunn puts it in the bottom right corner. We've just had a goal at Brunswick City versus Melbourne City. Jason Principato has put Brunswick City in front. And here, Zach Walker has scored to make it 2-0. Nicely worked. And now playing through Rickson. And it right is 1-2. They've got one back. Trent Rickson gets his goal. Games in, in the season so far. Two quality sides. Lino! Oh, there we go. Lino it's with the goal. Strike. Held up by Rickson. Cross back in oh, to the back post. Go. And it's a goal. It is a goal turned in by Mo Karuku. Chris Grossman had the home fans at Chaplin Reserve cheering when his left-footed shot picked out the bottom left corner after just six minutes. 
Springvale White Eagles would have to wait until stoppage time for an equaliser. Jack Luziotis turning and shooting to save a point for the visitors. Eastern Lions opened the scoring on the stroke of half time against Werribee City with Sam Burfoot converting a penalty. William Ellis doubled the advantage when he capitalised on a pause in the Werribee defence, slotting home from a tight angle. Cameron Neals made the point safe with this sharp reaction off the pack at a corner. Neals would complete a double just minutes later, bringing down a long ball and having his initial shot parried, only to score from the follow-up. Whittlesea Rangers' free-scoring form continued when George Sleffendorfus needed just four minutes to net the opener away at Box Hill. And it was a flying start when Attila Offley made it two just after the quarter hour. But Box Hill hit back, Alex Schroen netting from a tight angle at this set piece. And Box Hill were back level by half time when Kobe Bahin rose highest to make it 2-2. But parody did not last long, Offley playing through Sleffendorfus early in the second half. And the points were sealed when Offley completed his double in the 89th minute. More than Zebra's Baggio Yusuf evaded the Nunawading City defence to open the scoring on half an hour. There were chances for more Zebra's goals at CB Smith, but the woodwork came to Nunawading's rescue. And in the last minute, a defensive slip-up would present a gift to Joshua Sabadusi. Bit of open space to work with. High ball over the top, looking for the run of Barnes. Shaper got caught, lost his footing. Barnes turns, left side of the box, spins on the ball and scores a sensational goal. And Brandon Barnes, who has been scoring worldies for fun, has put down an Ong Thunder into a 1-0 lead. 76 minutes gone. St Albans nil, Dandenong Thunder 1. Now a we'll look back to round 5 and North Geelong Warriors 2-0 win against Golden Valley Suns. Michael Anderson opened the scoring for the Warriors on 58 minutes. North Geelong would seal the points 9 minutes from time. American import Kenny Eze scoring his first NPL goal. So to the NPL table after round 6 where South Melbourne and Bentley Greens are level on points and goal difference but goals scored see South Melbourne hold top for another week. Port Melbourne's unbeaten streak has seen them climb, while Heidelberg capitalised on slip-ups by Hume City and Oakley Cannons. Back-to-back -back defeats leave Melbourne victory as the lowest safe team, while Avondale's visit to Northcote City this coming weekend shapes as a crucial game to try and escape the drop zone. Now to PS4 NPL2 East, where Kingston City's two-all draw with North Geelong Warriors leaves Dananong Thunder a perfect 6-from-6 six six at the top of the league. Brunswick City's winning form keeps them in third, while a 2-0 win for Golden Valley Suns at home to Bendigo City sees them into outright fourth. Whittlesea Rangers holds outright top in PS4 NPL2 West, while Moreland Zebra's win against Nunawading moves them into second place. It was a weekend of missed opportunities further down the table, with no other NPL2 West team winning in round six. To hear reaction from the coaches and players in PS4 NPL Victoria, subscribe in iTunes to the FFE podcast presented by Sportsmart. You can see extended video highlights made by the clubs, photo galleries, match reports and club news on the NPL Victoria Facebook page and find fixtures, venues and kickoff times at nplvic.com.au.